Well, hello there and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Virgos. Yes, all of my virgins. Hopefully you all had a great weekend, virgins, Virgos. Guess what? Mercury enters Taurus today and Mars enters Aries on tomorrow. So hopefully you all are getting real serious and fired up about the things that you're passionate about as it relates to the life that you know that you deserve. Let's get into your reading. I'm talking to you here, Virgo, anywhere in your chart, not just your sun sign, your moon, rising, Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. If you need to pull your birth chart, there are tons of uh, websites where you can pull your free birth chart online. Just go Google it. Just type in free birth chart. I believe you can not only, uh, I think you need your birthday, the time of birth and your location of birth. And if you don't have your time, some sites will allow you to pull it without the time of birth. But yeah, let's get into your reading and see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. Mm hmm. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups here. We also have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands. Yes, uh huh. Mm hmm. We also have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody is starting to get very, very focused. I mean, laser focused on their goals when it comes to balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money. And I'm talking about really locked in, no distractions, that kind of locked in. That's what I'm seeing for you all. You all are very intelligent sign, very analytical, honest. So this is for you if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, not just your sun sign. You are very, Virgos are very practical sign hardworking, kind, very loyal, perfectionist, right? But somebody's starting to understand, hey, listen, because you're so analytical, perfection really is an illusion, right? You want to get it right by the standards that you create, but you're not putting unhealthy um, pressure on other people around you. And you're not putting unhealthy pressure on yourself, right? You're just getting even more focused in balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. I see somebody learning how to protect their heart, right? Really learning how to protect your big, generous heart. I'm also seeing your intuition is really heightened. It's extremely heightened, right? So, um, and it's pretty intense. Again, you're starting to listen to source inside of you to make some things happen quicker. You're not so worried about um, looking at the cards here. You're not so much worried about what people think, how they, uh, what their assumptions are about you. You're just getting it done, right? You're listening to your intuition and you're just making some things happen sooner than later. I see somebody being extremely happy, extremely happy. I see your business doing very well and I see people finding it easier to work with you and work around you to even be around you. Because again, you've dropped some of the overthinking, the critical, like being self uh, critical, criticizing, uh, harshly criticizing other people, being judgmental. Again, you're about, okay, when well, my intuition tells me to do this, boom, I'm going to do it. I'm not even going to give it a second thought. I may think about it for a second, but that overthinking, I need to, if I want to create the life that I want, I need to get in high gear and start making some things happen sooner, right? Perfect. Perfect, 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 Virgo. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so that's how you're going to see some things happen sooner because people are going to find it easier to work with you and wanting to be around you because again, you're listening to that intuition. I've always said, because you all are mutable signs, when it comes to that intuition, you all are the easiest for, um, for source to kind of I won't say it's the easiest for Source to work with because obviously Source knows everything and how to work directly with people and get you to kind of get motivated. But it's easier for you all to kind of like really pay attention to Source and say, okay, I'm going to just go with my intuition. I, I may not need to physically see everything, the outcome. I just trust Source, right? Here we have Three of Wands. Somebody has definitely learned things from their past and somebody's expecting some great things to happen. Even if you're kind of sort of in test pilot mode, like, okay, I'm just going to test this thing out and see how it works. Good. That's what God wants you to do. God wants you to test, right? Yeah. God is like, okay, listen, I'm good. I'm good on my word. If I tell you that I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to blow your mind, right? So yeah, I do see somebody celebrating outside of... Um, 
whether it's a job where you're working uh, for another organization or your own business or both, but I do see you celebrating. So this is great. Congratulations to you all. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, Virgos. Let's go. So you can be celebrating, like I said, out of a, outside of a courthouse. Somebody, you could be celebrating outside of your apartment, uh, your job. You could be celebrating, but the expectation should be that it's, I'm, I need to be celebrating something. So you want to be very specific about what you're asking the universe for. You want to be very specific about what you're asking the universe for, right? Page of Cups. It's going to restore somebody's emotions and their intuition. That's what this is, right? This very youthful energy, like restoring that, okay, I should have listened to my intuition. I shouldn't have, I put myself through all of this stress, not listening to my intuition, so it's restoring somebody's emotion in their, in their, um, your intuition. Let's see what number we have for you today, Virgos. Let's see. Love it, love it, love it. This is very nice. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to you, right? Fresh new ideas, all of those things. I am inspiring. That's right, Virgos. You really are very inspiring. Here we have, you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed um, your imagination is highly charged. Yep. That's that third eye being wide open, right? Your imagination is coming from source. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. That's right. I am inspiring. Think about the Virgos. I want you all to Google famous Virgos and, and see how inspiring they have been to people. We're not talking about the negative. You don't need to overanalyze the who claimed this person did this and how these people didn't like this person and all of that. I need you to see how inspiring they are to the world. Obviously, you know, being in human form, everybody's, nobody's going to be able to, um, you're going to, somebody's going to find some fault with you, no matter how perfect you try to be, somebody will find something wrong with you. We're just talking about the Virgos who are out here doing it in the spotlight under extreme scrutiny where people are looking at their hair they're looking at their clothes they're looking at their fingernails they're looking at i mean like humans can be so critical of each other right but imagine living under that kind of scrutiny so that's your homework virgos to go look at some virgos that are go google some virgos who are um under a lot of scrutiny but they're still out here doing it let that let that inspire you let that inspire you if you need some inspiration go look at some highly successful virgos but the first virgo you want to look at is the one in the mirror that's the one that should inspire you the most really all right so let's see what else we have here with these cards but yeah your number for today is 21 i am inspiring yeah you're inspiring a lot more people than you realize I'm trying to tell you, you may not look at, you may not think that because you're looking at your bank account. It's like, I don't know who I'm inspired because my bank account doesn't show that. But when you think about how, when you, I'm, I'm, I was about to name some Virgos, but I really want you all to look at it yourself. A lot of those Virgos really got their success out of the mud. They didn't inherit a lot of money. They had to put in that hard work and get it done, right? And that analytical spirit that you have that 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 eye that eagle eye you have that hawk eye excuse me that you have for detail that a lot of people may overlook some things and you're right there in it in the details um is what's inspiring people yeah burning bowl ritual so you're going to get rid of some things that again that you have been overthinking that what's going to go in that burning bowl is criticism uh harsh criticism of yourself and of other people being judgmental is going to go in here. Um, being fussy and overthinking is going to go in this burning bowl. Being slow to make a decision when your intuition tells you a thousand times, do it, do it, do it, go make this decision about this and that. You're going to toss that into the burning bowl. And you're going to also toss into the burning bowl, questioning every little thing going into the burning bowl. You all don't see, some of you all don't even see the advantage of being a Virgo. And I'm not talking about Virgo just being your sun sign. I'm talking about it being anywhere in your chart. I'm telling you, once you learn your full birth chart and you learn how to, to what those signs look like, that sign in your, in your birth chart at the highest frequency, 
It's go time. Life can be so much more exciting. And knowing that you have the power to speak things into existence and to take not having the fear to just take put action behind it. When people get a manifestation a little mixed up is that they think they just sit there and think it or sit there and just write it down and wish it and hope it's going to happen instead of putting action behind it. Right? I wish I was like that real estate, that, that real estate agent right there, but never took a class. I wish I could sell houses like they could, but never picked up any kind of material to go learn, you know, whatever it is you need to learn, right? You got to put some action behind it. And that's what I'm seeing for somebody. There's a fire up under somebody to go after what they're passionate about. A time for healing. Yes, a time for healing. It is a time for healing. I love it, love it, love it. Yes, let's see if we have anything else here. We got everything here. Your number for today is 21. You are inspiring more people than you realize, Virgos. But again, if you need inspiration yourself, please go pull up some celebrity Virgos and see how they have inspired you, right? Because that's how you're inspiring other people. But again, kudos to somebody for celebrating outside of some kind of a structure, whether it's a courthouse, a new apartment, a house that you purchase or refinance or whatever it is I see you celebrating out of. But again, all of this is good news, all because you took this one action, got focused and got as far away from distractions as possible. And of course, got out that burning bowl and burned those, some of those things that I shared with you. That's what I have for you, Virgos. Have a fantastic day.